Hey guys, it's almost World Cup season, and while the United States men's national team is done, dusted, dead beyond revival, soccer fans in America and then fans of the World Cup every four years need to find a country to cheer for. This is where Reka Vodka, an Icelandic vodka company, comes in. They want to turn U.S. soccer fans into Icelandic soccer fans. They invited us here to Porchlight in Manhattan. They're going to make us some Icelandic cocktails. Then we're going to go watch Iceland take on Peru in a World Cup tune-up game. It is a massive derby between these two nations. So much on the line. Nothing's on the line. Literally doesn't mean anything. Go Iceland. Today we're going to make uh, an Icelandic mule. Have you had one Perfect. before? Perfect. I'm a big Moscow mule consumer. Okay. So now we got all the ingredients combined. I'm going to put a little in there. And in Iceland we say scowl. Scowl? Scowl. What's that mean? That means cheers. 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 Scowl. Scowl. That tastes like Arctic water. The second drink I want to make is a drink that I have been truly obsessed with. It's called an espresso martini. We're only going to add three ingredients and we're going to use fresh espresso. I literally thought that was like your coffee. No. That you've just been drinking. <laughs> now, would you like to shake? I'll do it. Yes! Yeah, okay. One I'm hand on do... the bottom, one okay. hand on the top. The two parts. Two... There it is. You got it. No, I don't have the rhythm. It's like I'm having sex for the first time. There we go. That's a pro. Not his first time. Then this looks just, very beautiful right now. It's delicious. Okay. And as, as it settles, it will separate even more. You can have this before dinner. I, I could have, have this, this before dinner. work, I feel. Right. Like. All right, guys, we just got our cocktails. Now we're going to the game. And what do we say, Trevor? I'm from Iceland. We made it to Red Bull Arena, Iceland, Peru, the game of the century. Let's go Iceland. Okay guys, we're a little bit late getting here because of crazy Manhattan traffic. Already won one before halftime, but Iceland is really doing well. There's no Icelandic people here. It's all Peruvian people here. But we're here for the coach that's a dentist, for the goalkeeper that's a filmmaker, for real Icelandic guys, AKA Americans. I have my authentic Iceland friend here. We kind of look pretty similar right now with our blonde. It's it's Nordic, authentic Nordic blonde. Hey, get out of here, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Right, yo, watch yourself. You watch yourself. How do you think of Iceland's chances in the World Cup? Number one. I, I'm big in the Peruvian community. Does everyone in Iceland have a long beard like you? Yes, probably. I haven't been back for a while, but I'm going to say yes. Can you teach me an Icelandic word that I can like? Say in soccer. Du ert mjög falleg stelpa. Ittmur fatleska. Du ert mjög falleg stelpa. And what's that mean? Yeah, you're a very pretty lady. Oh well, thanks. So, I, so then I can use that, and that will help me out. All right, guys. Iceland sadly lost 3-1 to Peru. They got a lot of work to do before they open up their World Cup against Argentina in just a couple of months. We had a great time. Took us 100 hours to get here, gonna take us 100 hours to get back. Had some great cocktails. Not sure if Icelandic people drink espresso martinis, but that's beside the point. It was soccer, it was drinking, it was cheering. I'm gonna give this whole experience a B. Let's go soccer.